Hello, friends. Thank you for coming to Story Circle with me today. We're going to read A Butterfly is Patient by Diana Hutz Aston with beautiful illustrations by Sylvia Long. Look at all of these caterpillars. My goodness such variety. Some of them look like little monsters. Some of them are smooth. Some are fuzzy. Some are spiky. They look so many different ways. There's a special caterpillar on here. We'll find out at the end if you were able to spot the special caterpillar. A butterfly is patient. It begins as an egg beneath an umbrella of leaves, protected from rain, hidden from creatures that might harm it, until the caterpillar inside chews free from its egg casing, tiny, wingless, hungry to grow. A butterfly is creative. A caterpillar feeds on leaves, eating so much that it must molt or shed its skin many times. It can grow up to 30,000 times larger than it was when it took its first bite. Look how tiny he is when he comes out of his egg and he grows and grows and grows until he's ready for the next phase of his life cycle. Once a caterpillar has eaten all that it needs, it creates a protective covering called a chrysalis. Curled inside the chrysalis, it's growing wings. Now it is time for metamorphosis, changing from one form to another. A butterfly is helpful. Butterflies, like bees, help pollinate plants so that they can reproduce or make seeds. As a butterfly flits from flower to flower, sipping nectar, tiny grains of pollen cling to its body, then fall away onto other flowers. Seeds are only produced when pollen is transferred between flowers of the same species. This is called pollination. A butterfly is protective. Butterflies use their wings to protect themselves from predators such as hungry birds, lizards, and other insects. Some butterflies have markings on their wings called eye spots. Scientists don't know what the, they are used for, perhaps to scare away predators or attract mates. This is the owl butterfly. You can see how his, wing, his eye spots on his wings look so much like an owl's eyes. Wings can help butterflies camouflage or hide themselves in the environment. One kind of butterfly, the peacock butterfly, makes a hissing sound by rubbing its wings together when it's alarmed. And did you notice this butterfly right here? The orange oak leaf? It looks just like these leaves. Excellent camouflage. A butterfly is poisonous. The warning colors of some butterflies' wings, yellows, reds, oranges, whites, and blacks, tell predators that they are poisonous or bad-tasting. Monarchs and pipevine swallowtails eat poisonous plants as caterpillars so that they become poisonous as adults. Birds and other insects have learned not to eat them. And you remember what this monarch caterpillar eats, right? milkweed. A butterfly 
is spectacular. Absolutely. Artwork painted by the hand of God. A butterfly is thirsty. To find flowers, butterflies smell the air with their antenna. They taste with their feet. How would you like to taste things with your feet? But they sip nectar, the sweet liquid produced by many flowers, with a proboscis, a tongue that coils and uncoils. Some butterflies get their nourishment from rotting fruit or minerals. Often, a kaleidoscope of butterflies gathers as a puddle club in mud near a pond or a lake to drink water rich in salts and minerals. A butterfly is big and tiny. The rare Queen Alexandra's bird wing is the largest butterfly in the world with wings that can span up to one foot. That's how big your ruler is, 12 inches. It lives in the rainforests in northern Papua New Guinea. The smallest is the rarely seen Asian small blue found in Afghanistan with a wingspan of less than one third of an inch, about the length of a grain of rice. So tiny. A butterfly is scaly. A rainbow of shiny, powdery scales covers the wings of a butterfly. Scales stacked like shingles on a roof. Without scales, its wings would be as transparent as the wings of a bee or a dragonfly. The colors, patterns, and shapes of a butterfly's wings have a purpose. Some use their pattern of colors to attract mates. In places where the climate is cool, dark scales absorb heat from the sun. That makes me think of the polar bears with their black skin. Absorbing heat warms the butterfly's flight muscles. Butterflies are cold-blooded and must have a body temperature of 86 degrees Fahrenheit to fly. So they like a hot Tennessee summer. A butterfly is not a moth. Butterflies and moths belong to the same family of insects the Lepidoptera, which means scale wing. They are the only insects with scaly wings, but there are differences between them. Nearly every kind of butterfly flies during the day, while most moths fly at night. So what kind of animal activity is that? They are nocturnal animals, aren't they? A moth spins a cocoon made of silk while a butterfly wraps itself in a chrysalis or exoskeleton made from its skin. Another way you can tell them apart, most moths have feathery antenna like the ones you see here, and most butterflies have bulb antenna like these guys. A butterfly is a traveler. Most butterflies, such as the red admiral or the common buckeye, migrate a short distance to find a warmer place, but some, like the monarch, travel far. Although monarchs weigh only as much as a few rose petals, they can fly almost 3,000 miles from Canada to their winter home in Mexico at a rate of 20 miles per hour. Glider pilots have reported seeing monarchs flying at an altitude of 11,000 feet. That's higher than some clouds. Incredible. And they get there without GPS. <laughs> A butterfly is magical. Monarchs gather in huge numbers in the forests of central Mexico, waiting for spring. Then they fly north to the milkweed plants in North America, where they lay their eggs. Now it is time again for the metamorphosis. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go to Mexico. A butterfly is patient. The egg hatches, the caterpillar emerges, 
feasting on leaves before it wraps itself into its warm, protective chrysalis, patiently waiting to soar. Gorgeous. Look at these butterflies. This is what their wings look like when they're open, these beautiful bright colors. And this is what their wings look like when they're folded up closed. Often if you see a butterfly sitting on a leaf with its wings spread, it may be uh, gathering some good solar energy, some heat from the sun to warm up its flight muscles. Now let's see all of these gorgeous butterflies. These are the butterflies that grew from the caterpillars we saw at the beginning. Can you find a butterfly that's special for us as Tennesseans? Can you find it? Do you see it? There it is. The zebra swallowtail, our state butterfly. Isn't it gorgeous? Thanks for coming to Story Circle, boys and girls.